Okay. All right, so here we are, events, and we got Josh. He's waiting to go in court. We got about less than 20 minutes. So you want to tell us uh, for what you're charged with, where it started, um, and why you're here? Okay, cool. Um, hello, everyone. Long time no see. Haven't done a live stream in a while. Still having technical difficulties with my phone, but. Uh, I'm here at the Regional Justice Center appearing for the charge of trespass, um, and that that occurred at the federal courthouse. I believe it was on, I think back in December, uh, or I'm sorry, November, December-ish. Um, I was arrested for trespass. I went on the, the property, the federal property. U.S. Marshals threw me in cuffs and said I was not allowed back. I was trespassed from the property. Um, I tried to discuss some of the issues about raising the trespass order. They weren't listening, they weren't hearing me, they threw me in cuffs, searched me, um, arrested me uh, on federal property claiming that I had no right to be there. Um, they claim it was because of disorderly conduct. If they're claiming my disorderly conduct was the time when I was up on the steps protesting with the Lavoie Finnegan flag, that is protected by the First Amendment. So they're violating a, a, a law. Um, I mean, there's even case law on this, Miller versus U.S., the exercise of a constitutionally protected right cannot be converted into a crime. They're all conspiring in this to deprive me um, from a, a God-given natural right uh, to, to have free access and, and free mobility in the federal courthouse. Um, the federal marshals are claiming since it's private property, it's privately owned um, by their corporation, I, I cannot go back. Uh, there, if, if, if that's the problem, my protesting, they've already violated. They're violating uh, two, Title 18, Section 241 and 242, uh, the deprivation, deprivation of civil rights and of the color of law. They're using these laws and these methods to, to intimidate me, to try to get me to conform, comply, and shut the hell up. In, in, Reality is, is what they're trying to do. This is all for my political beliefs, for standing with the Bundys. Uh, I, I am going to appear in front of the same judge who is handling my obstruction case. Uh, some of you may have seen that video where I was arrested on the courthouse uh, plaza for refusing to give my date of birth. Well, this judge is handling that case, um, and I have to appear for that maybe in January. Uh, so right now, <clears throat> today's charge is the charge of trespass. I do want to challenge jurisdiction, um, and I also want to invoke my uh, right to a jury trial, which is protected by the Sixth Amendment. Here in Nevada, for uh, a crime of uh, trespass, you're not provided a jury trial. Well, if this judge is an Article Three judge and swore to uphold the United States Constitution, she has to give me a jury trial. All crimes, all crimes are to be tried uh, by a jury of my peers, um, and that's pursuant to Article Three, Section Two. Article 6, Section 2 or 3, I believe, um, says that all judges within the United States are bound by the U.S. Constitution. And violating that U.S. Constitution um, is treason. Treason is punishable by death or life imprisonment. This is, like I said, this is all a, a uh, uh, an attempt to silence me because I've been speaking out against the wrongs that our government has done and has, and all the, the, assaults on the U.S. Constitution and the principle of liberty they have committed for so many years. Um, in this courtroom, they have a picture of Abraham Lincoln. And I've told this court many times, Abraham Lincoln said that the people are the rightful rulers of both Congress and the courts, not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow the men who pervert it. Well, my question is, how do you know if the Constitution has been perverted if you haven't read it? Well, I have read it. And I've been here plenty of times to understand and know that this entire system, this whole justice municipal court is a joke. The, the fact that they're wearing a robe and calling themselves judges is a slap in the face to the American people. They want us to be slaves. We are nothing but commodities. We're nothing but numbers and birth certificates to them. They do not care about true justice. If they cared about true justice, they would be enforcing the laws that are meant to protect us, we the people. We, the people, are the federal government. These people here are just the hired help. We grant them privileges. We have unalienable rights granted to us by the higher power or by nature's God. 
So I'm here standing on my foundation. I have here the state constitution along with, this is my state constitution, my U.S. constitution. Show us the state constitution again. Hi, Nancy. Uh, Nancy says uh, a jury needs to hear this. Stand yes. firm. We're praying for you. Right. Hi, hi, Joseph. Happy New Year. My Holy Bible and my Book of Mormon. These are my foundations. This is what I'm standing on. I'm standing on the principle of liberty. Um, and a jury does need to hear this. And that is how they've robbed us of a right to a jury trial, um, by putting up a bench trial. I have no, no way to win in a bench trial. I, would, I want my, my case to be heard in front of a jury of my peers. I'm not going to win. God bless you. I already know I'm not going to win. I already know this. But just like LaVoy said, it doesn't matter how it how it ends. It matters how you stand. How you stand. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to stand on my foundation, which is pretty much no victim, no crime. Where, do the, where does the power and the authority come from? I'm here just to simply stand and say, I found these documents that say I have certain rights. And I'm here to invoke these rights. And you, the judge, if you're bounded by everything in this Constitution, you have to abide by the laws of it. That's all I'm doing. That's all I want to do. And, and hopefully they decide to drop. I'm going to go ahead and, and put them on notice and say, for the record, you're now on notice. You understand what, what foundation I'm standing on. If we proceed with this and you continue to um, harass me or throw me in jail, you're taking part in this conspiracy against me. That's a violation of Title 18, Section 241 and 242, the deprivation of civil rights under the, under the color of law. What these guys are doing are making laws that restrict the people from free access, from free mobility, from free, um, free action, free will. They're restricting us by legislating private human behavior and morality. They're using laws to make us comply and in turn rob us of our dignity and our financial gains and our means and, and all our private property. All rights derived from property. If you have no property, you have no rights. And our government <coughs> knows that well, which is why they make us pay taxes, they make us put license plates on our cars, they make us get driver's licenses, we have birth certificates, we have social security numbers. We're nothing more than just numbers, commodities, products, slaves. I'm here to call that out and tell them I'm no longer a slave. I am a natural human being with natural rights. And if you want to deprive me of that, you better be damn ready to do that. And you better be, have a jury trial ready for me. Because I'm not going to comply with these stupid laws anymore. I'm here to fight back. And the way I'm fighting back is by protesting and, and voicing my opinion in the courtrooms where it should be. Great. Well, uh, we'll come back when uh, we get out of there. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody.